Hello, it's your Wisconsin Wine Guy. I'm back again with another wine review. Very, very simple. I go to the store, pick out a couple of wines, you know, brands that you may have heard of and brands that may be not only new to myself, but new to you. Very, very simple system. Thumbs up. I highly recommend that wine. Three quarters. You know what? I would drink if it's at a party. I may even keep a couple of bottles on hand at home. Halfway. You know, not so much for me, but give it a try and then let us all know what you think of it. You know, uh, thumbs down. Very simple. Get that wine out of here. Now, again, these are wines that you can find in your everyday liquor store, grocery store, and some wine shop shelves. Now, today's show is going to be extra special. You know, I feel about having multiple wines from one brand. So we're going to be doing this in a couple of parts. I'm going to do the whites first, you know, pour, taste, grade, and then move on to the reds. Okay. And then I'll come back and just do what I gave the grades for the individual wines. All right. So we're going to get this started first. So the brand is going to be Flat Top. So Flat Top Heels coming out of California. Now what's so unique and great about this wine is that this is going to be the fourth generation, fourth generation from the Madavi family. How cool is that? You know, to have a generation of a generation upon generation continue to make and produce wines and keep introducing new styles, new flavors, new tastes into the wine market. So thumbs up to the Madavi family for continuing that family tradition. So now let's get back to you and see what these wines are. So fourth generation, flat top hill sellers. We're going to be doing the 2018, both of 2018, Chardonnay. Okay, 2018 Chardonnay and the 2018 Sauvignon Blanc, All right? Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. So we're gonna give this a taste, a taste run and see how it goes. This is fairly new to the market, so I'm actually looking forward to it. Of course, you know, I, I did have some before, but I never give it my first impression. Screw tops, you know how I feel about closures. As long as the wine is good, I don't care if it's a screw, cop, screw cap or a natural. Well, let's give it a pour. So Sauvignon Blanc. First, well, I'm not going to taste it first, but I poured it first. I'm going to taste the Chardonnay first. Now, you may find some people who like to drink the Sauvignon Blanc before the Chardonnay. I tend to go Chardonnay before Sauvignon Blanc because some Sauvignon Blancs can be so powerful that it's just going to totally destroy and kill the taste of the Chardonnay. So, all right, so let's give it a swirl. And you can tell, look at the glasses here. The Chardonnay is here. Sauvignon Blanc is here. All right, so that Chardonnay, you probably can't tell so much on your end, but on my end, that Chardonnay is a little bit dark, a little bit more yellow compared to like greenish hues coming from the Sauvignon Blanc here. You know, and that is the uh, do it part to the barrel aging. And on my notes, I found that the Chardonnay is aged in uh, French oak. The grapes are sourced from the central coast of California. So we're talking like Monterey, Lodi, Santa Barbara area. So let's uh, give it a rinse. Now, before I grade again, I'm going to uh, taste both wines and give you my opinion. Let's see if I can squeeze both reds and whites in the same video. Wow, that nose. Very tropical in the nose. You know, it's very crispy. That's Central Coast. I mean, giving, you know, nice coastal breezes, but warmth. Mmm. Wow. Very, very flavorful. You know how I feel about acidity. That's just the rinse. Got to have acidity to make the wine worthwhile for my mouth. So nice, like medium acidity, but very, very flavorful. Very flavorful. Almost like, um, I mean, not sweet, but ripe and fruity. You know, like a tropical pineapple. Or like candied pineapple. Or Let me see if I get candied ginger here. Okay. I mean, it has a nice deep fruitiness. So I'm going to go with like a, a peach. Now let's uh, give the Sauvignon Blanc a taste. So that was just my taste, my rinse of my taste. Now for a rinse of taste on the Sauvignon Blanc. Now the Sauvignon Blanc is not barrel aged. Now it's a good thing I did go in that order Chardonnay, then Sauvignon Blanc. Boy. Is my mouth watering off of that Sauvignon Blanc? So a little bit more acidity coming to Sauvignon Blanc, but again, it's going to be more subtle, more fruity tasting with subtle notes of citrus. Mm. 
Mm. I mean, all the elements of a Sauvignon Blanc is right there. It's not going to be that intense, just straight grapefruit or green grass, but more like, you know, nice citrus notes with little melon notes, you know what I mean? So it is, it's really nice. So let's give it a grade. Very simple. We're going to go back to Chardonnay. Of course, we're going to go back, you know, and we'll see if the, the Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc is going to kill it. I mean, it's, it's amazing that they both, they play really nice going back and forth. So for the Chardonnay, okay, for the Chardonnay, I think it's a, a very pleasant, elegant, simple, everyday drinking kind of wine. I mean, I think it's great in the cold where I am. I think it's going to be fantastic in the summer, you know, but it's not going to knock your so socks off. It's going to be a very nice, easy drink, you know. Sauvignon Blanc, uh, same thing. More ripe, more fruity, you know, but again, definitely have the Sauvignon Blanc elements. You know it's the Sauvignon Blanc. So really, both of these are three quarters. So three quarters on the Chardonnay and three quarters on the Sauvignon Blanc. I think they're both, again, very pleasant wines, very good drinking wines for the uh, uh, summer season. So let's slide these over and let's bring in the reds. So our reds are going to be 2017 for the Cabernet Sauvignon and 2016 for the Red Blend. In my notes, the Red Blend is a blend of Zinfandel, Merlot, Petit Syrah, and Malbec, all right, which is gonna be great looking forward to that. Central Coast again, French and American Oak, uh, grapes being sourced mainly from um, uh, the Red Blend coming out of Alexander Valley, Dry Creek, so, Dry Creek, Sonoma area, and then the Cabernet grapes coming from the Central Coast, Monterey, and Paso Robles area. So let's give it a pour as usual. I'm going to pour the wines first, and then give myself a rinse, and give me my opinion. All right, so you'll get a chance to see this whole process. I mean, I just love when I have the chance to taste wines from the same brand. You kind of get an idea of that thumbprint. Remember I said earlier that the Sauvignon Blanc and the Chardonnay, they were kind of similar going back and forth, so they played nice together. So let's see if the same thing happens with the reds. So I have the Cabernet here and the uh, Flat Top Red Blend, all right? So four great blend. So of course, they both are, are deep in color, you know, which is uh, pretty nice. Give it a nose. Sauvignon Blanc, you know, get a little smoke, almost like ash tobacco. So more ash and smoke, tobacco with fruit, more dark berry fruit. Coming on to the flat top red blend. Same thing. That's not the stick in my nose all the way in. So they both have a little smoke and ash, almost like tobacco, you know, blended with the fruit. We're going to do the Cabernet first. That's going to be the rinse. All right, now let's uh, give it a taste. All right, nice acidity, medium, soft, medium tannins. Now for the red blend. Okay, now, alcohol level on both of these, if I can find it, you know, it would be nice if one year, or um, one generation, it put the alcohol in the same level. But I'm going to go about, looks like about 13, 13.5% for each of these. So here's what we get. Dark fruit, berries for both of them, you know, uh, soft, medium acidity, you know, but uh, it's not going to knock your socks off. All right, again, just nice, simple, easy, everyday uh, drinking type of wines. So that's what they're going to be. So I'm going to give the Cabernet one more taste. That ash, that tobacco uh, taste is there. I'm going to give it, I'm going to go halfway on the Cabernet. You know, not so much for me. I think I could use a little bit more fruit depth to it, a little more balance. But then on the red blend, Again, halfway, halfway on both of the reds. Let's do a recap. Both reds, halfway. The both whites, 
three quarters. So flat top wines, again, give it all, give all the wines a try yourself and let us all know what you think of it. And as always, Wisconsin Wine Guy says, let your palate be the guy who's selecting your next wine. And we'll see you next time. I'm going to end this with the Sauvignon Blanc. Bye.